Hi, I'm Rohas Nakpal. Welcome to this video on Web 101. The process of setting up your website begins with registering a domain name. An example of domain name is something like hotmail.com, google.com, gmail.com. These are all domain names. Few things you must remember is that domain names can have alphabets, numbers, and you can even put in a hyphen. But that's about it. There's nothing else that's allowed. So you can't really have a dollar sign or an underscore or a plus or anything else like that. Now, once you've decided what is the domain name that you want to book, you would simply click on the option of a top level domain. So you would decide whether you want a .com, net, org, today there are hundreds of different options available. And then you say, check availability. Okay, now it says, congratulations, this particular domain is available. Let's register it. You need to fill out this simple form, which asks for information like your full name, organization's name, email, phone, fax, address, city, zip code, country and state. After that you notice there is something called name servers. There are two options. Use DreamHost name servers or use another host's name servers. In our example, we are going to host our domain name with DreamHost itself. So we leave the first option be the way it is. In case you want to be hosted with another hosting provider, maybe like GoDaddy or Big Rock or something, then you would choose the second option. And you would enter these name server details which you would have obtained from GoDaddy or Big Rock as the case may be. Once that's done, all that you've got to do is click on the continue, enter your payment information and that's it. Your domain is booked. Now that we've booked the domain name, let's move on to our DreamHost dashboard and see what are the kind of options available to us when we actually set up our website. The next step is to go to the manage domains option. Let's click on this. Now here we can add a new domain or subdomain. Let's click on that. Okay. Now there are various options that are available. Let's go through them one by one. The first is called fully hosted. Now what this means is they're saying that you can upload your website to their servers and they'll serve the site for you. Now suppose the site that I'm setting up is called cyber.edu.in. So I enter that under the domain to host option. Next it's asking, do you want the www in your URL? If this is your first time hosting a website, let's just go with the default option here. Now let's create a new user. So let's give it a name. Now it says that the user is going to be Mr. Cappuccino on Webster, which is one of the servers owned by DreamHost. Let's scroll down. For the time being, let's leave everything the way it is. And we can fill in the capture. And we can say fully host this domain. But before that, let's look at some of the other options available. Suppose we didn't actually want to host this domain. We simply wanted to redirect it to another website. So what I would say is that my domain is cyber.edu.in and when someone comes to visit it, automatically the person should be forwarded to asianlaws.org and then I could say click here and say redirect this domain. As you can guess very easily what this would mean is whenever somebody tries to visit cyber.edu.in, they automatically go to asianlaws.org. Alternatively, we can mirror a website. So it is going to use the files from another hosted website that we actually have on Remost, but it's going to display it under the cyber.edu.in domain. Or we could simply park the domain. A lot of times you would have come across websites where there isn't really much content. There's just maybe one page of an advertisement, or you can see a generic placeholder. So we just have a DreamHost advertisement placed on it. We can do that also. Or we can cloak the contents of another website in a frame. Or we can only use DreamHost DNS servers and host our site somewhere else. Now, As of right now, let's go with the simplest option where we are fully hosting this domain here. So we click on fully host this domain. We've been successful in setting up our domain here. Now let's have a look at what the message is. So firstly it says cyber.edu.in has been added to our hosting system. Then it says that since it takes some time for new DNS information to propagate, it may take up to a few hours for your new domain to start working. 
Now this could be between half an hour or sometimes even up to 48 hours. It also tells us that right now no email address has been set up at cyber.edu.in. So it gives you a link, you can click and set up your email accounts there. Alternatively, later we're going to have a look at something called custom MX records, wherein instead of hosting our emails with DreamHost, we could actually host them with Google by changing the MX records of the cyber.edu.in domain. But that's something we'll have a look at later. Then it says within 10 minutes, the new FTP user, FTP means file transfer protocol user with the name Mr. Cappuccino on the webster.remos.com domain will be created with this password. Of course, if you want to change this name, password, anything else, we can again click on this link and do that. It also says that cyber.edu.in must be using the DreamHost name servers which are provided here. Now in our case, we don't really have to manually do that because we booked the domain through DreamHost and we allowed their default servers to be set. So in our case, this information would already be correct. Now if we try accessing our website and we say cyber.edu.in, it's going to say server not found because it's going to probably take between half an hour to 48 hours for the domain to actually start working. While we are waiting for our domain to go live, let's set up our FTP account. So in Firefox, I'm using a tool called Fire FTP for that. So we can click on Tools, Web Developer, Fire FTP. Here, let's create an account. A host we can enter as webster.dreamhost.com. Our login is Mr. Cappuccino. And the password which was set by Remost automatically for us. Now we can say OK. And let's try to connect. Okay, now it's connected us to our account. In fact, now let's try to see whether our site has actually gone live. So let's go to this page where we had typed in cyber.edu.in and it had said server not found. Let's try it again. Okay, as we can see, it's already been set up by DreamHost. So this is a normal static page they put in. And now as we upload pages to our site, this would actually change. Let's create a simple web page for ourselves just a few simple words now let's head back to our FTP screen what we see on the left are the files on our computer and what we see on the right are files on our server now we've just created this index.html file which simply has a few words which say six degrees of separation now let's see what we have online now here we can see there are three files that have been put by default by DreamHost. So first thing is what we can do is we can simply delete these files. In fact, now if we go back and see our domain, there's a blank page because we have no files on our web server. Let's go back and let's upload this index.html file that we just created. It's uploaded. Let's go back to our site, refresh, and there we can see our first web page is now online. 